everybody. everybody. I'm the penguin. And I'm the chef. And we're here with another product review today. The penguin bought this for me. A battery daddy. A battery organizer with a tester. Uh, it holds up to 180 batteries. You can get 72 triple A's, 76 double A's, 10 C's, 8 D's, 8 9 volts, and 12 of them little button ones that go in little flashlights or hearing aids and things like that. Uh, it was $19.99. She bought it off of Amazon, I believe. No, I bought it off the Battery Daddy website. Oh, Battery Daddy, I'm sorry. And it was free shipping. Yep. Uh, get the box out of the way here. And stupid me, when I ordered it, I thought, for that price, it must come with some batteries. Yeah, it didn't. No. Uh, that's the front side there, as you can see. There's your tester. Don't mind the remote. I just do that in there for something we have. And I've started putting my batteries in it. I've used their tester and tested all these batteries. They're all used batteries that I still have a full charge on them. And I have some brand new ones back here I put on the back side. Uh, regular batteries. And I've got some outdoor batteries here because I have uh, outdoor lights and uh, some sensors outside that require they. Uh, they're solar and they recharge but I keep extra batteries because every now they go dead or the ends get rusty on them and you got to uh, clean them up this is a two-sided case so you can open either side this side will fit doubles and triples of course and then uh, a little more specific on this side they actually have compartments made for each size battery and then there's an extra uh, holder in here a little you, bit of glare that you can put here I'll open it up no they can see it now that you can put Whatever you want inside there, I do believe. It's not specific to any certain size thing. It's pretty deep. I've used it three or four times. Now when I tested these batteries and stuff. And to me, it's a little bit overpriced for what you get. Number one, the tester is not spring-loaded. And the negative goes down here, and the positive goes up here. So every time you put one in there, you have to manually hold the battery in place. Well, here, let me get a battery. Let me show you guys. So if any of you ladies are thinking about buying one of these as a gift for your husband or your son or your boyfriend, boyfriend friend, anything like that, you might want to just listen to what Chef has to say about this. Now, like I said, you have to manually push down on it and hold it in place. Otherwise, it slips out. You see, and it's showing it's got a good charge on it, if you can see that. Take it out and see how it drops. I think that for this kind of money, they should put a spring-loaded battery tester. That way, it'll pull down on its own. So you don't, you're not confined to actually holding the battery in place the whole time. Number two, it's just got a flat edge up here for the positive side. They should make a cup up here that fits that little nub that's the positive end of all those kind of batteries. The size of a, uh, I don't have any D's in here, but the size of a D, that, that way everything smaller will fit in it too. And that way when the spring pushes down on it, it stays in place and you can turn it over and look at it. That way you don't have to try to crank your neck and look. That's the first improvement I'd make on it for the price they charge. The next thing is, like I was talking about the outdoor batteries, even indoor batteries sometimes get a little bit of condensation and they rust. And there's nothing wrong with the battery, it's just that it's got rusty ends and it's not making good contact. Well, this is one of the Penguin's Emery boards for doing fingernails. Works perfect for cleaning the ends of batteries off. They should include something like this with this kit or a piece of emery cloth. And everything I'm telling you guys, I left on their website because I went and did their opinion thing on there. But they should have something like that. And of course, everything you, you have that you have to take apart and put back together now about has a screw in it to hold the cover in place. This is my little itty bitty screwdriver. It's actually the penguins that goes with her kit, but they should, Yes, I have a tool bag. They should include something like this in every kit. That way you can it's right there. And last but not least, they should add in dialetic grease. The dialetic grease is what you just take a little bit of it and put it on the ends of a battery or electrical out. Uh, fitting and it keeps moisture from gathering there and having rust and like uh, I looked some prices up for you guys uh, you can get the uh, dialetic grease in a little pouch it's not a whole lot but it doesn't take very much at Napa for a dollar and 69 cents 
and you can get a battery tester on your own at Harbor Freight or HarborFreight.com. Uh, they're only two dollars and seventy-one cents. And I don't remember the website. It'll be on the screen here in a minute when she puts the picture on. But I found a battery uh, holder similar to this. It's just a, a straight black case like that. I don't think it has a cover, but it comes with its own tester too. They're on sale for. It holds 108 batteries. This holds 180. It only holds 108, but they're on sale right now for seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. You could actually buy two of them and get two testers and have enough to hold 216 batteries. So if you're thinking about getting one of these for the fellow in your life or just for you around the house, that's what I would recommend. If you're going to spend the money to do that, I would definitely go ahead and get you a little screwdriver, some emery cloth or emery board, and some of that dialetic grease, and you can probably keep them right inside that little extra compartment right there or lay them between the batteries. They're little screwdrivers and emery boards are not very big. You probably already have these, some of these at home anyway. You definitely want to shop around. Yeah, you, yeah, you want to look around online. That's what I did. And like I said, you can get that dialetic grease at Napa. Just go in and ask the service guide. He'll bring you a little tube. It's only a dollar and sixty-nine cents. It's not very much, and there's enough in there to last you for twenty or thirty batteries. My overall rating on this thing, considered what I think needs to be done to make it worth twenty dollars, is a two and a half flippers. <laughs> Penguin flippers. <laughs> they are handy to have. Like I said, it's a double-sided case. Before. She got me this. <clears throat> we were keeping all the batteries just in a big one gallon Ziploc bag. I'd lost a I used to have two little screw or two little flashlights run off of one double A or one triple A. That's how I'd test my batteries. If the bulb was real dim, I'd pitch the battery. If it was bright, I'd keep the battery, but I'd lost my flashlights, so I didn't have any way to test them. That's why she got me this. It is handy and everything, like I said, carry around. It'll fit in a drawer, it says on the back of the box. I haven't tried that yet, but like a a drawer you keep your silverware in that size drawer it shows it sliding right in there keep it in your vehicle or whatever if you're going to do stuff or in your garage so yeah it is handy but i don't think it's worth 20 dollars the way it comes they add the stuff i said like i told them on their website i think it'd be worth 20 bucks but you need to shop around as that song goes yeah it's very cheaply made so if you're sitting with your significant other your spouse your brother your husband your dad and boyfriend watching tv and they say hey i'd like to have that for my birthday or anniversary or whatever let me tell you you better shop around because yeah. it's not worth it yeah you can get you can get the same as for less money uh yeah this is something else that the i got she got me for christmas and i haven't got a chance to use it yet i'll be reviewing it next it's a monster hd wireless headphone kit and I know how ladies always say, guys, crank up the sound too loud on the TVs. Well, if you're not interested in watching what he's watching anyway, this would be a great thing. It's Bluetooth, so you're supposed to rig that up to your TV, and it's wireless for the guys. And it says somewhere on here, uh, where was it at? I've seen it somewhere on the box. It told you how long it was supposed to last. And now I'm not seeing it that I'm trying to tell you. Well, anyway, he's going to be doing a review yeah. on that, too. Most, most of them are supposed to last like six to eight hours on a charge. That way you can, you know, watch TV, you know, like a couple movies before you have to change them out. And that way you're not killing everybody else around you with the sound real loud if you're watching sports or a shoot em up movie or something like that. But I'll be doing a review on this one next. How much was this one? Like $30, $30. I think. So it's, 30, it, between 30 and 40 I don't really remember. I'll have to look. So it's it's not a, a, a El Cheapo, but it's not a high price one either. So we'll we'll do the review on that, and, and I'll let you guys know how that goes. Uh, if there's any other products you guys would like to see a review on that uh, I might get in the future or I might already have, just uh, let us know in the comments, uh, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, please like and subscribe our channel. Uh, thank you to all the uh, new subscribers and the guys that's been with us since the get-go. Ladies. And ladies. And a few gentlemen. Not, not a lot of guys, but there's a few guys that watch. And uh, we're, we're trying hard every day to, to learn how to do this better. Trying to show ourselves a little more and stuff. Like I said, I've got COVID here. I'd like to go get my hair done, but, you know... <laughs> We'll be going on camera again. We'd already talked about it probably sometime within the next week or so. 
we'll probably go on camera and have dinner with you guys or something like that or just a chit chat session and so. not, not changing the subject either uh, this has been in our background here for a little bit this is one of those things that they have at the Dollar Tree that I made for last year for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's just a, a love is what it came with. And I just took some foil and made an I and a U and I hot glued them to the Yeah, can thing. you guys see that's actually aluminum foil? Yeah, this wrapped around. He him. made an I and a U with aluminum foil and he put lights in it. Yeah, it's it's two-sided, see? There's two of them. They were a dollar a piece and I took some... Uh, zip ties and zip side it together real good where you can't see it and i bought uh three of the battery operated lights a couple red ones or a couple clear ones and a red one and put inside of it i think it's it's a little dim because it's so bright in here but she'll turn the light off on the phone i'll turn the light off overhead and yeah see, see if you can see up. it's lit up now the lights were a little better last year when I had them pushed in there just right, but it's got jostled around when it got stored for the year and then brought back out. But it, it was a sum total of $6 between the batteries and the lights and the two hearts. So, guys and or ladies, this is something that's really easy to make for your special Valentine. Yeah. If they can keep as a keepsake instead of just a card and a piece of candy that's going to disappear, they can use it for years and years and... Yeah, Chef likes to make stuff like that, and he does a great job. I used to be crafty at one point, but that's yeah. kind of that's kind of went away as as the age has come upon me. It's just when I see things, sometimes things click in my head. I don't know why. Probably from getting hit in the head with that golf club. When I was getting <laughs> it sticking. My brain is not wired like everybody else's. Four. So. Uh, this, this, uh, it, honest to story, I lived in town at the time. I was like. Little kid, <laughs> I was I was a little kid, and we found a golf club, a driver that was a metal driver. That you somebody, told him already. Oh, did I tell him that? Mm -hmm. And I was too close behind, and somebody smacked me in the top of the head with it. Yeah, you told him got stuck, smacked up in the middle of your head. Yeah. 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 I just shut the flash off oh, so okay. I didn't blind you. Well, that's it for tonight, guys. We'll be coming back with a recipe tomorrow. Tomorrow we are making. Lasagna. Hot tomato, pasta tomato, hot tomato for you. Macaroni, rigatoni. Hey, hot tomato for you. <laughs> What's the matter, you, eh? So, yeah, we will. I have all of my stuff laid out. I've got my meat put in the refrigerator to thaw out. And we're going to be whipping us up some lasagna tomorrow. I'm excited. She'll be making it. And I'll I'm be a very it. excited. She'll be making it, and I'll be devouring it. So, but that video will go up late tomorrow. You know how we are. Yeah. If it gets up by 1 o'clock Monday morning, I'll be really surprised. Because that sauce is something that I have to let cook for a while. I like to let it simmer for a good while. And, and we have vampire hours, so we don't get up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but anybody that knows sauce knows it takes a long time to make a good sauce you gotta cook it slow yeah low and slow as they always say yeah, that saves all the flavor in it well i hope you guys are having a great weekend yeah, hope you guys are having a great weekend and staying warm because it's pretty cold here it's very cold here and it's supposed to i don't know they're talking freezing rain and snow for the next two days yeah but here lately, no accumulation though yeah, everything here is just rain usually yeah just enough to make a mucky mess yep that's about it all right guys we're going to go so I can edit this and get this up. You have a good night, and that's our review of... That's our review of the Battery, Battery Daddy. Daddy. Night, guys. Night, guys.